This is just something that I'm not willing to stop fighting for yet because I think there's other alternatives and other answers. The fight continues for parents in Lawrence tonight. Some parents and employees are rallying now outside of the Board of Education meeting. I'm Lauren Halifax. And I'm John Holt. Tonight, in a bid to cut costs, the board will decide whether to close three elementary schools and repurpose a middle school. Fox 4 Tia Johnson live in Lawrence. Scene of that rally, in fact, is just wrapping up right now. Tia. Yeah, John, wrapping up pretty soon because that board meeting is scheduled for 6 p.m., but this is a look at the rally now. It's pretty much double since I last talked to you guys last hour. The district says it's making cuts to give teachers better pay, but some parents say there's another way to do it. Our kids, you know, they have their community in their schools, and with these school closures that we're looking at, these kids are going to be dispersed all across town. And it's going to probably be a domino effect of other kids across town. Lindsay Yankee says she's going to put up a fight. Her son's school, Woodlawn Elementary, is one of three schools in Lawrence recommended to close. We're trying to raise them to be resilient and go with the flow and know what we can fight for, but also know when we've got to go with the flow. But this is just something that I'm not willing to stop fighting for yet. She's one of dozens of parents or employees upset. Lawrence Public School says it wants to save money and is trying to figure out what to cut costs on. Its biggest priority is having competitive pay for teachers. In a letter on the district's website, Superintendent Anthony Lewis says he recommends cutting staff positions and closing Broken Arrow, Pinckney, and Woodlawn Elementary. The district would repurpose Liberty Memorial Central Middle School with an innovative curricular theme in hopes of attracting students. School closures are almost always irreversible. You don't go back and open up a school once it closed. Um, once a school is out of a neighborhood, it can affect housing value. It can affect what businesses open or don't open there. Parents like Alicia Erickson say they have many concerns bringing up transportation, safety and impact school closures have on students mental health. We're advocating for cuts higher up further away from the students and for them to really aggressively explore explore renewable energies as two examples. And tonight the board will be voting on those recommendations. Fox 4's Dave DeMarco is inside and will bring you those updates later on on Fox 4 News at 9 and 10. John.